Hey guys, it's that time of the year, late uh, October, and I'm putting the palm tree nursery to bed for the winter. So first of all, to put it to bed for the winter, you need leaves for mulch, to mulch the uh, palm pots, right? These are one gallon and two gallon pots. And uh, this morning I was at a friend's place raking up a crap load of leaves. So I raked up uh, about nine or 10 bags, big bags of maple leaves, some fruit tree leaves, and uh, I wasn't supposed to do that until my eye healed. Well, guess what? I had one week for my eye to heal, and it's past the one week mark, so I'm right at it again. I had my buddy Hal, he raked up some leaves for me too, which is super nice, because I couldn't rake a couple of days ago because of my the eye uh, surgery I had. I couldn't lift over 20 pounds or do any strenuous things. Now, my eye is healed, and I got time to heal in this nursery at the end of October. So you take them, the leaves, and you just throw them around the edges of the pots. Most of these pots are kind of rooted in here, believe it or not. They have a root or two that are actually going into the ground. And uh, in the space between the rows, I fill it up with leaves. Because remember, you do not want the pots to freeze in a bad winter. And uh, it was a cold snap last December 2021, late December, and everything here did really well. And I do the same thing every year, mulch with leaves. You can never mulch enough. And then the leaves you can actually use in the compost or whatever after. Just kind of just leave there if you want. And it just uh, will hold some moisture for these palm trees. So that's how you do it. I can sprinkle a few leaves on top if I want, like this. I don't know how cold it's going to be this winter. We never know how cold or mild a winter is going to be. So better safe than sorry, right? And we have thousands of palm trees here in our nursery. And they're pretty tough plants, man. You know, like I say, these things are exposed to all the elements year-round. And uh, if that cold snap in late December didn't harm them, nothing's ever going to harm them here. So let's just dump these. Anyway, i got to go to uh, Banana House today and pick up more leaves. I was busy doing some yard maintenance this morning for a friend. So that's where I got these leaves from. I have a few more bags in my truck. Look at that. Beautiful. These maple leaves are awesome. Fortunately, I don't have enough of our own maple leaves, maple trees, so I have to get them from other people. There. This is going to be good. It can get as cold as it wants out in the winter. Better to be prepared. I'm going to show you what I did up here. I'll grab the camera. And uh, man, it's nice out here. Another beautiful day on Salt Spring Island. So. Um, these ones I started the other day just around the perimeter like I say you can sprinkle a few leaves on top These uh, cold frames. I just put these Lexan panels on top There's no artificial heat in here and believe it or not all of those went through the deep freeze last year No problem even in 2008 So that side's all mulched These guys I just mulched before I started filming here And then there's a bunch of sable miner and uh, trachycarpus in there zone 8a trachycarpus and uh, up here, i got a lot of mulching to do, man. Bunch here, bunch of two gallons there, and then we got a ton of them up there. Those ones I didn't really mulch last year, and they did fine. Believe it or not, I was really worried about them, but uh, not a problem at all. Lost one five-gallon palm in there, and it was, guess it was not meant to be in the collection there. It was obviously a wimpy plant, so it was right there, and it packed it in from the cold, but every other one, not a problem. All right, guys, that's how it's done when you put a palm tree nursery to bed for the winter this far north. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. Let's pray for a mild winter, or at least a normal one anyway. Normal winter would be good. Right on.